What's up, everybody? Y'all come on in. What's up, Daniel? What's up, Cam Lish? What's up, Ebony? What's up, Michael? What's up, Tosh? Yeah, come on. What's up, Marquis? Yeah, come on in. Right, we'll give him another minute and we'll get started. Was over shot. All right. How about we begin? How about we begin? Now I just want to get through seeing the black and new black and blue movie that just came out. New black and blue movie. It was pretty good. Uh quite a few things I like about the movie. Uh, it was played by Naomi, forget her last name, but I've seen it in quite a few other movies as well. Uh, now then, let's get started. Now this movie is about a cop who is actually a Medjai operating as a cop. Let's get that straight. What is a Medjai? The Medjai were the original magical police force that was in ancient Egypt that governed uh, all the fucking internal affairs of ancient Egypt. You see what I'm saying? Policed everything. Made sure everything was good. See what I'm saying? That's where the original law enforcement engine came from. The, all law enforcement spawns from the Medjai Force. You see what I'm saying? So, let us begin. Now, here we have this Medjai. She, in this movie, she comes home from the military. And, you know, she was back about a year. And then she decides to become a police officer. You see what I'm saying? And she was only there for three weeks. Which, you know, three is the number of the higher self. And she began to find out <coughs> what they was really about. Because 
Uh, for those three weeks, she only worked the day shift. She hadn't worked nights. You see what I'm saying? And of course, we know we we did with the day side. The day side we did it with the tree of life. So you only seen the light side of it right now. You haven't seen the darkness. You haven't stepped into the clip off to see what the fuck is really going on. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, in the movie, she, her, her uh, partner, you know, she, uh, he, uh, he had a little date or whatever, some family matters, and she decided to take a double shift for him. Uh, so, oh, she meets another, she meets the dark side of the fucking police force when she comes up against these fucking corrupt cops who she will soon find out to be corrupt cops. You see what I'm saying? Now, she go out for night shifts and she, and she really see how crazy this shit can be as a police officer. You see what I'm saying? They had to break up a fight. A dude was about to sneak her and shoot her. And uh, she, uh, the police officer stopped her, right? Of course, he stopped her because she's protected. And you're going to see why. You're going to see this a lot. Uh, what happens next is... Uh, what happens next is... After they sit in the restaurant, you know, this is what I really want to talk about. They sit in the restaurant, and he says something along the lines of, you think you black? Now you blue now. You no longer one of them. You one of us. So, and I'm glad they had a dirty more, a dirty coon tell her this. You see what I'm saying? I'm so happy he had the dirty more, the dirty coon tell her this. To show you all skin folk and kin folk. And a lot of them, once they join, once they join their fraternity known as the police force, they fucking no longer see you as their people. So you seen they, you seen the thought process of the police department of black people in the t police department. Uh, and all the movie you gonna see that they forced to to make a choice between her people and them, and they did it all throughout the movie. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, the black and the blue. Uh, uh, it, it looks like that, you know, you, you had black people on one side, and then you had the cops on the other. True, that was physical. But we did it with a Medjai storyline here. We did it with the spiritual side, the metaphysics. Black is her melanin, her soul. And blue is the truth. And all its rawest forms. And she find out the truth of the organization that she in. It ain't got shit to do with the color you wearing. The fact is, y'all, 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 some, some, some deadly motherfuckers. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so what happens is, uh, she rolling with old buddy, and he get a phone call from one of the corrupt cops, and he show up to the factory, and they murk three dudes, and she see him murk three dudes, cause she heard the gunshots. So, she go in there, she see that they murk three dudes. These three dudes, once again, the killing of these three people is the activation of the pineal, the pituitary, and the hypothalamus, glands. How we know this? Because upon her seeing these killings, it woke her up to what the fuck was really going, going on, what the fuck she was really dealing with. You see what I'm saying? And, and, this, and this police, uh, dealing with this troop, this corrupt police energy. You see what I'm saying? So so so, <clears throat> what happens next? They try to get they they try to uh, get her to get her. Uh, they tried to get her to get a camera, but one of the guys was trigger happy, so he started shooting at her. Luckily, she had on a vest, uh, so she was good. She escaped the motherfuckers and she rolled up on Tyrese. You know, Tyrese do some good movies every now and again. Every now and again, she hell he ain't did nothing this good since fucking waist deep. That was the last time he did something that was real powerful, and that was pretty much a decade ago. You know, uh, uh, outside of the Fast and the Furious movies, which are pr all pretty good. So, uh, she go, she she go and uh, find Tyrese, whose name whose name is Miles in this movie, and old girl uh, Naomi, her name is Alicia in this movie, and she go see Miles, but she asks Miles for help, but he living in fear. You see what I'm saying? He he living in fear of the cops. And uh, she she called her partner to tell tell him what was going on, and come to find out, uh, he finds out everything that was going on about that, and uh, he he decides to help her. So he helped her, 
or whatever. And then she she rolling with a uh, she rolling. I'm skipping some parts. You know I don't want to spoil too much in the movie for you. I'm just hitting the main points here. Um, she rolling with her partner in the movie, and uh, he said some things, and her intuition kicks in. I love when their intuition kick in in the movies because they they voices turn to muffle. Uh, they they voices start muffling, and they 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 tune into themselves and listen to their intuition about what's really going on. And that's when she started asking questions that he couldn't answer. And that's when she started asking more questions that he could answer, but they were the wrong answers. And that's when she started knocking that nigga teeth in. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 this is what we're talking about here. This is what we're talking about. Listen to your intuition. Because she was already a mid master at this point. You see what I'm saying? She was already a mid master. She had, she had, she had did 10 years in the military. You see what I'm saying? She, and she had came, now she did nine years in the military and she came home for a year. You see what I'm saying? And she had been home for a while, but she decided to become a cop for um, that month. So, 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 yeah. It's, it's a real interesting situation. But and, but I like what Tyrese asked her. He said, why are you doing this? And she was like, uh, you a cop, they're a cop. So why don't you just give them the fucking whatchamacallit? And she was like, murder is murder. I don't give a damn... If you're a cop, if you a gangster, if you a artist, goddamn it, murder is murder. He killed somebody and he got an answer for it. You see what I'm saying? So what happens next? What what, what happens next? Um, uh, she pretty much pops off for this point because she go and enlist fucking Tyrese's help again, and of course he helps her. He helps her, and it's interesting. Fucking, they 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 tip off the gangsters cause the the nigga son he killed was, uh the dude one of the guys that he uh the the police officer the corrupt officer killed was one his son and that nigga was a notorious powerful gangster right, so when 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 he found out about it the police officer lied on, uh Alicia and guess what he sent the whole fucking hood so now now I don't. He said the whole fucking hood after. So not only do she got to deal with the cops, she got to deal with the gangsters too. And shit got real for for a while for her. So, you know, it was a lot of action. A lot of shit went down. And she she finally turned herself in to um, the gangster in the movie. It was Luke Cage, actually. <laughs> it was the guy who played Luke Cage, anyway. And she told her story, and, and he she gave him the... Uh, the video camera, and he seen the video for himself, and that's when he snapped. And then it was it was a fucking big firefight, shit popped off, and um, uh, two of the guys, the, the the guys who work for each other, uh, you know, they start they start falling apart. You see what I'm saying? Because now they in fucking trouble that this shit is popping off. You see? Uh, so so so, you um, they escape, and then she have a a fight with the 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 main corrupt police officer, right? And he was like, and she was, he was like, why are you doing this? They don't give a fuck about you because the dialogue is amazing in this movie. Why are you doing this? They don't give a fuck about you. You want us? And she was like, it don't that that's not what this is about. You have to be the change. You see what I'm saying? You have to be the transformation. You have to be the guy, or in this case, the goddess. You see what I'm saying? You have to be the Magi master and show everybody. Because cause, uh, on her tools, she realized in the movie, like, you know what? It ain't no good. It ain't no good or bad. It's just, it's just people. You see what I'm saying? We just all living our lives the best way we can. So she found the balance. You see what I'm saying? She found her center in the military through all her travels. So they couldn't convince her that to pick a side. You see what I'm saying? She she was her own master. So she didn't need their fucking their their fucking politics. You see what I'm saying? She didn't have to. But of course at the end of the day she 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 picked her own side but it was, her people still at the end of the day end up helping her because she stood her ground. She stood in her force. You see what I'm saying? And her in her path. Firmly, so everybody else, her, her people helped us. Our people helped us. You see what I'm saying? Helped us. You see what I'm saying? So this, this, this was going on in the movie. This was going on in the movie. So you know, uh, you know, things resolve themselves. You see what I'm saying? And you know, she continued to be a policeman or whatever. 
and the, the, everybody respected her because both sides respected her because she was the master. And I like at the end of the movie, and she told she told Tyrese, "Thank you for saving me." And then he was like, "Nah, thank you for saving me," because he was living in fear. Uh, you see what I'm saying? And it was because of her she awoken him. You see what I'm saying? He received her energy and awoken, and he began to uh, walk his Magi path. Hey, they even gave him a gold and black car. You know, gold is sold. I always tell y'all that. Uh, gold is sold in this movie. And, and she, the car represented his macabre. And what he did, it, it was him uh, who fucking uh, gave the information to help free her. So the feminine and masculine energy working together to bring balance to the force once again. So you don't see this. So these two magis... Uh, res these two magis went on this mission to expose the the corruption that was going on uh, with uh, in the po in the, not only the police department but uh, all the killers and shit. A lot of it is the cops. They found out just corrupt cops being fucking savage. This nigga was the greatest drug dealer there. See, you know what I'm saying? He was the greatest drug dealer there. She, he was battling the drug, the, the actual gangsters who was drug dealers. He, she, hell, so, 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 cause he was getting heels. So, this was going on here. So she, she had to conquer. Uh, she had to conquer this imbalance, the black and the blue. Uh, they was forced her to choose between her melanin and truth. But you, what she showed them in the movie was, you need melanin and you need truth. You see what I'm saying? Because truth is what sparks the melanin, and the melanin what empowers the truth. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 it, it, she showed them it's a superconducting loop. They feed each other. They feed each other. You see what I'm saying? So, it was a really, 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 really good movie. Go check it out when you get a chain. I ain't going to spoil it. I just wanted to give you some few a few pointers. You see what I'm saying? She was the Magi master, and she helped awaken, you know, Tyrese into his Magi force, and he did what he needed to do to help her free herself. He even went so far as to sneak into the police station. You see what I'm saying? Sneak, sneak into the belly of the beast to implant that to implant that information to free her and free them because he, 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 he was on the verge of getting killed too. So they freed each other and balanced out the force. You see what I'm saying? In that environment. And, and, and everybody everybody benefited off of it. You see what I'm saying? So 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 there you go. There you go. So y'all go check that one out. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Now, I got another one for you. You know, I decided to make this a dual movie decode. You know, um, another one that I seen that, that, that was real connected uh, that came out a few years back called uh Chirac. And from what I remember, Chirac got a lot of a lot of hate towards it. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? And since Chirac got a lot of hate and, 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 and a lot of people dissed Chirac at the time because they didn't understand it like always. Uh it got it, it, it got trashed. You see what I'm saying? Nobody would touch it. So since they didn't touch it then, you know. I'm gonna touch it now. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna touch it. I'm gonna touch this one now. Chirac. We gonna talk. We gonna talk on it. We gonna talk about it. Now, why didn't nobody understand this movie when it came out? You know, it's oh Marvin. It was feminism. It was this, this, and that. And once again, uh, motherfuckers don't know what they're looking at when they watch movies. You see what I'm saying? Uh, this was actually the Chirac movie was a. A, a a true to the core Jedi story. You see what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, when I say true to the core Jedi story, I mean down to the fucking nitty gritty, down to the fucking goddamn walk down the street. It was a Jedi story. Now, Chirac is based off an of old Greek legend or story by the story of Lysis Sistra. Lysis Sistra was a Greek. Uh, lady, Greek woman living, and they just got tired of the war. So through that, they decided to withhold sex from the men to to burn them out, to stop them from fighting. And of course, eventually they gain peace because you know niggas gotta have this. Niggas gotta get they loving. You see what I'm saying? They love it. So this is what this movie is based off of. It's just, it's an urban rendition of it, but they put the metaphysics in it. So, 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 so they put the metaphysics in the movie. It's not just a movie. It's a grimoire. If you know what you're looking at. 
Now, you got the character. This is Sistra. And she dating the guy, Nick Cannon, Chirac. You see what I'm saying? And what, what's going on here? What's going on? You know, they in Chicago, Illinois. Or what they call Driller Noise in the movie. Chirac Driller Noise. That's basically what they were saying. Now, what's going on here is a lot of killing. You know, gangsters killing gangsters on on, on a on a extreme level. So what what's happening here is since, since how we talking about the Jedi, it's also a chakra story. You see what I'm saying? So she started off on a root chakra at the club, dancing, having a good time, listening to Chirac. Then what happened? Uh, bang bang, niggas start killing each other at the, at, at the party. So they so they go to his house. They go to Chirac's house. And, you know, while they loving, making they loving, you know, what happens? Uh, the, the rival gang set their house on fire. You see what I'm saying? Now she's entering her sacral chakra. So now now, now she's fully into her sacral chakra because the flames of passion. You see what I'm saying? That's what they represented, the flames of passion. So her sacral chakra kicked her out of that reality. And who's the first person she meet? You know, when the student is ready, the master always appeal. The, the queen mother herself... She, Shows up, the Jedi goddess herself, Angela Bassett, shows up, uh, in that moment to see her. But of course, in that situation, it was, it was a real, it was a real fucking deadly situation. So you know, um, uh, uh sister was like, "What you looking at?" And, and Angela Bassett was like, "Nothing," because and, when, and what she meant by nothing, she knew they were asleep. She know she knew they was in a zombie state. Uh, unconscious state. You see what I'm saying? So, um, later on, she worked, she worked for the government, you know, she worked for the government. What up, Diana? And since she worked for the government, you know, she, she had inside scoop of what, what was going on there. So the only person she could go to was the queen mother, Jedi goddess herself, Angela, Angela Bassett. She goes into her, she goes into her temple and Angela Bassett was so fucking, Advanced, she didn't even have a TV <laughs> at this point. She didn't even fuck with TVs at this point. She told her books were her life. And when she asked why you don't have a TV, she said, books are my life. What are books? Books are grimoires. To remind you, uh, it's just, uh, uh, books are grimoires to remind you of what it really is. You see what I'm saying? And, and uh, that, that's all they are. They, 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 they just, they're to remind you, jumpstart your consciousness about shit you once knew, but you forgot it. You see what I'm saying? That's what books do. They 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 catalyst to trigger trigger that dormant part of your consciousness, so you can fully awaken that aspect and get it in. Depending on what you're studying, whether it's magic, whether it's the force, whether it is uh, mathematics, whether it's philosophy. You see what I'm saying? Whether it's even even physical arts like martial arts and dancing. You see what I'm saying? So 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 that's what book that's 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 all books do. And even more powerful in books are exercises. Exercises are, I always read the exercises in books because they're guidelines for your subconscious mind, especially magical texts. You know, they're, since those exercises are guidelines for your conscious mind, then, you know, um, uh, something like, you, it, it may not activate in that moment, but once your subconscious mind has enough emotional energy to supercharge that those guidelines, those programs, it activates at some point down the timeline. You see what I'm saying? That that that's how those exercises work. That's how those gu guidelines work. Your subconscious mind create a program inside your mind to activate uh, a trigger for that particular aspect you are working with. You see what I'm saying? So 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 that's how I go. Now let us continue. Whoa 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 whoa. whoa. Yeah, she's in her sacral chakra. She she met uh, the guy Angela the Bassett. Angela Bassett told her about books. Um, uh, gave her books to to learn from, gave her information, you know, because now uh, she had to learn how to conserve her sexual energy. Why? Why Why was the current theme of this movie always about sex and controlling it and harnessing it? It's about sex transmutation, to be precise, the alchemy of sex. You see what I'm saying? Uh, sex can not only just be used for sex between two people, sex can be used... Uh, when you harness it to uh, enhance and empower your force, you see what I'm saying, your life energies, you see what I'm saying, so, 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 
all that you can get what you need done in the physical world. You see what I'm saying? But you have to have energy to get what you need done in the physical world. And, and conserving your sexual energy, going on sexual fast, is one of the quickest ways to gain that power and wisdom. You see what I'm saying? So, that's why the main thing of the movie was about conserving sexual energy. You see what I'm saying? So, so now she, now, now, uh, we we get to the we get to the scene where she passed by armory. Cause she 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 talking to her ladies. You know, she in that sacral chakra. She 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 making new relationships with people she never even fuck with like that. Um um, you know, both even rival gang members, all that. Cause she was part she was part of um. The 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 uh Chirac's gang and Wesley Snipes gang, you see what I'm saying? Um, I don't got their names now. But yeah, she was part of. She was part of Chirac's gang, Nick Cannon's gang. And uh, you know, Nick Cannon's was, gang was purple and um West Snipes was, gang was orange. You see what I'm saying? And they were warring with they they was in the gang war with each other. So what what's going on here? Uh what 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 caused this to happen, or what caused this trigger in the first place, is the little girl in the movie was killed due to a, a rival drive-by, a, a, a gang bang drive-by. You see what I'm saying? It was a shooting, and the little girl got hit, and so that's what set her energy is what set in motion these events. You see what I'm saying? So what happens here? What happens here? She get the friend. She get everybody together. She get her friends together. She talks to the rival gang members. They get together. They form they Jedi councils for the most part. And like I was saying, she passed by Armory. Now the Armory, she seen like damn. Uh she she remember she remember one of her history lessons about somebody taking over the Armory. And she was like, damn, maybe we could do that shit too. You see what I'm saying? Cause now she entering into her solar plexus, her personal power. Now she see that. Um, I shouldn't feel the system. The system should feel me, cause I'm a monster now. You see what I'm saying? I'm a master now. I got power now. You see what I'm saying? So what she do? Probably the most powerful scene in the movie. Um, she, 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 and her ladies go in and she seduces the uh the general there. You see what I'm saying? And while while her the general talking, what does he give her? He gives her a rammer. Uh but the rammer is him throwing her the jet pillar. No lie. Let me show y'all. I took a picture of that shit. I was like, oh I got I gotta show them this. I gotta show them this. <sighs> Let me see here. That's that that that's him giving her the rammer. There. Yeah. So that's that's her holding the jet pillar. And the jet pillar is your spine, by the way. You know, your kundalini chakras that rise up to cause this awakening. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 so that that that's what make this this scene so powerful. That 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 jet pillar. So he throw her the jet, and that's when she fully get into her her solar plexus. So they take over the armor. They take over the head and, and, and make it their headquarters to stage their revolution for the most part. You see what I'm saying? They're, they're, they're a revolution. And they did it. What made this scene so beautiful, they did it without guns. And once again, I want y'all to notice, in these movies, cops can't do shit with motherfuckers who own their path. If you if you notice, the cops in the physical world can't do shit with these motherfuckers on their path. They couldn't do shit with Alicia uh, in her movie when she was on her path, and they couldn't do shit with Lisa Sistra when she was on her path. Uh, you you gonna see this in the movie cause in, Ali in Black and Blue, Alicia did what? She was murking them motherfuckers. She was taking them niggas through that shit and she beat all three of them motherfuckers. Uh, so, 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 that, that shows you, uh, that, sh that shows you the power you have when you on your soul journey. You see what I'm saying? When you on your soul path. You see what I'm saying? When you in the force for real, for real. Not not that not that tiptoeing shit when you when you bout that life. Nobody can fuck with you because you've become a deity now. You living the life of a deity. You a deity hood. She was a magi in black and blue and they couldn't really fuck with her like that. Because she was on her path. Like I said, when you walk through the force, uh, when, when, when you really walk through the force, you can't be touched and you can't be moved. And so that's what's going on here. Same thing, same thing that happened with Alicia happened with Lissa's sister. They took over a fucking armory full of fucking niggas 
who is fully trained military men. You see what I'm saying? Fully trained military warriors who is trained to go somewhere else and blow shit up and fuck shit up. You see what I'm saying? I need y'all to understand the ramifications of it. The, I need, I need y'all to be aware of what that means. They took over 75 women, which 75 is 12. You see what I'm saying? It equals 12, which equals 3, which is the number of their high self, which it means they was in their high cells when they took over their armor. So they were deities. That's basically what they're saying. They had become deities. And the police couldn't do shit with their asses. You see what I'm saying? The police couldn't do shit with them. They couldn't they couldn't touch them. You see what I'm saying? They was they that they, they they now we enter in the heart chakra. You see what I'm saying? Cause now the police are like, alright, alright, we gonna weaken them with fucking slow jams. Music. You see what I'm saying? And music hypnotizes the heart. You see what I'm saying? And the ego. You <coughs> see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It gets you into all sorts of states of consciousness. So they show you in this movie how they weaponize music to fuck you up. Basically, basically when you are when you doing what you're supposed to be doing. So 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 what happens next? Um, she in the, she in this um they, they they bring in music and she find earplugs to shut that shit down. And she even said it. Here go earplugs for this nuke, this bomb that they just threw on us. It was a musical bomb in this case because they weaponized the music in this movie. To, to work, have it work against them. So that was their heart chakra. You see what I'm saying? Now, we get to the throat chakra. Now, it's, get, it's getting interesting. You got this, you got this fucking all boy, all boy club who not called the Knights of Euphrates. And they dirty the morals for the most part. That's basically what they showing you in the movie. And they get upset that these women are fighting uh, to you know, stop the violence. You see what I'm saying? And their force at this point had already triggered all over, had already triggered the awakening all over the planet. You see what I'm saying? At this point, yeah, because everybody was getting on that movement. All the women all across the planet was getting on this movement. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so it was, it was, it was no sex for nobody. You see what I'm saying? And the no sex just represents uh, energy conservation because you need energy to power your reality. That's what they were showing you in this movie. That's why it was no sex. They went on their sexual fast to stop, uh, stop the current flow of the energy, which was very destructive to them, and alter it and transmute it into something new, which is why it's called sex transmutation. You see what I'm saying? So, 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 what happens next? What happens next? Um, uh, what happens next is shit go down. You see what I'm saying? These fucking dirty morals infiltrate. You know, they had one lady in them. You know, you always got one who infiltrate, who, who turn on you. Uh, she let them in, and it was a very powerful conversation. And the 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 guys was like, what you doing? Why why, why, why are you doing, making this movement? We ain't gangbangers. But they didn't understand that they, was, they were once in the streets doing that shit too. You see what I'm saying? So what, what happened? What happened here? What happened here? Um, you know, that she they, they, they flip out and she asked her, him a real powerful question. She's like, What is the meaning of life? And he could not answer it. You see what I'm saying? He could not answer what the meaning of life was. You see what I'm saying? What's up, Star? What's up, Marjorie? What's up, Ashley? You see what I'm saying? Uh he could not answer what the meaning of life was. You see what I'm saying? He could not answer this question. Uh, since he couldn't answer this question, because we all know the meaning of life is change, transformation, and transmutation. That's what life is about. You see what I'm saying? Knowledge, wisdom, power, transformation. You see what I'm saying? Growth, learning. And none of that was happening with what was going on. Everything was the destruction, misery, suffering, pain, horror. You see what I'm saying? Those were the energies. And so once he realized what she was really doing, he dropped the keys because they, they brought keys in there, you know, because keys are supposed to represent the dick and it's supposed to unlock the vagina, you know. It's, it's just sex, it's sex symbolism in this case. So they drop the keys and walk out because now they see what's going on, the cause. They thought it was some feminism shit, like, oh, y'all can serve a sex from us because it's feminism. They're like, nah, it's about balance. There ain't no balance in the world. 
And this is our, this is the best way, this is the best thing we had to come up with to fucking stop the, 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 the energies, the arconic energies that was flowing in the world. You see what I'm saying? This is, this is the best, this is the best way, which, and we knew sex would get y'all attention because sex is the gateway to everything. You see what I'm saying? Because it's, it's a creative force. So, so, uh, after that, we enter the third eye. You know, you got Chirac. You know, you got, uh, you got, you got Wesley. You know, they, they doing their things and they starting to realize that they fucking up, you know, because, you know, when they start to conserve their sexual energy, they start to think. They start to process what the fuck they was doing, sit down and process what the fuck they was doing. And the only motherfucker in the movie who didn't get it was Chirac. You see what I'm saying? Uh, um, he had his reasons for not getting it, and you gonna you gonna see that. In, I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So, um, uh, they had they, they the police come and get Chirac, cause you know he's still asleep right now. They come and get him to work against the goddess. So they have uh, they, so he placed a bet with him. He said if if uh if, whichever one of us come first is the winner, and, and uh you know he gave her a deal. Uh, if 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 I come first, then you can get whatever you want. If you come first, then we gonna we gonna we gonna go back to the way things was for the most part. That's basically what the deal was. So they 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 brought in a brass bed, which is some old ancient Egyptian shit, a brass gold bed. And now we know we're in our third eye now, cause now uh, this is the unification of the feminine and masculine energies, and that's where um, it happens in. Yo, that's a, that's the chakra that you that it happens in the third eye, the first eye chakras, the unification of the feminine and masculine energies. So they have sex, and uh, and he loses, of course. And so what happens? This um, the feminine energy, uh, the fe- the feminine energy then begins to heal the world with her nurturing energy. You see what I'm saying? So we get to the scene in the movie. I mean, it's more to the movie, but, you know, these are the main things I want, the main points here. You get to the scene where um, they're in a hall or gym or whatever, and because at this point, even the male was like, all right, we need to get them fucking world peace because I got I, I to gotta get mine now. Hey, I need to get mine. So so they they, they, they write us some tre- treaties for world peace. Now, peace is symbolic here for balance. You see what I'm saying? Balance, harmony, you know, stability. That's basically what this means. Je- pure Jedi energy, pure Jedi energy. You see what I'm saying? Uh, so that's what world peace is in this case. So now we're in the crown chakra. You see what I'm saying? Now we're at the crown. Now, everybody in this scene is wearing white except for Chirac. He wearing purple. Now, uh, everybody had to sign including Wesley, who had to sign because he had turned over a new leaf at this point, and Chirac was the last one who had to sign. Once again, you need the feminine and the masculine energy to bring true balance, but he didn't want to sign, so he just walked away. And the ladies came in with all the images of the the the, the, the girls who had been killed. You see, saying all the kids who had been killed or whatever, right? So, so, so... Um, all these mothers got together to 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 show him, like the horror, like if it, uh, of the past, like if this continues, you're gonna see more and more of this, and it's not gonna stop. So we need you to, uh, in their case, be a good man. They said be a good man or be a good guy, and fucking sign the treaty. But the reason why is he could not let go of two things. The, the situation with his father, who was also in the same predicament. So he he was true to his father's son. He had to live out his father's sins. So he had to do what his father did in this moment, which was bring balance to the force in his own way. Now, this scene here is interesting because uh, what happens next is he finally, he, he, couldn't, he couldn't move on, so he filtered out his heart chakra. That, that, that's why the heart chakra is the hardest chakra to master. Cause you gotta filter that motherfucker out before you can fully heal it. Filtering it out is healing it, actually. So, so he had to tell one of the ladies when he it was him who shot her her little girl when um when he was doing the drive by, and so when he filtered out his heart chakra and 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 told her the truth. 
Then he awoken to who he really was. You see what I'm saying? Then, now the crown, because he represented the crown chakra. And everybody wearing white around him. You know, the little halo that you see the saints have around them. That little halo was representing an enlightened, an enlightened, an enlightened being or an enlightened Jedi uh, master. Uh, an enlightened being. Uh, this That's what the white energy was. But he wasn't aware of this enlightenment until he filtered out his heart chakra. That's when he realized he was fucking up. And that's when he signed the treaty. And, they, and as they were taking him off in handcuffs, he said some powerful shit. He was like, he, he gave you he gave you knowledge that only this motherfucker who vibrated on their crown chakra could give you. He said, y'all need to clear out y'all consciousness because y'all fucked up. If y'all y'all gotta clear out the consciousness, the 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 darkness, the clutter, your shadow, so that you can free your mind. You see what I'm saying? So 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 everybody thought Chirac was Chicago. Nah, Chirac is the sleeping God inside of you that you must awaken, and goddesses, sleeping gods and goddesses inside of you that you must awaken. You see what I'm saying? That's what Chirac is. Because at the end of the movie, she said, she said when he fully awoke him, and he, uh, she was talking to the fucking pastor. She was like, he was like, well, I see Chirac finally found himself. She said, that's not Chirac, that's Demetrius, because that was his real name. And that, that, that distinction means that Chirac was uh, represented the sleeping guy in you. The sleeping force, the sleeping goddess. You see what I'm saying? The sleeping, the sleeping giant that's inside of you. Yo, 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 your inner self that you must awaken and bring back to the light of your consciousness. You see what I'm saying? So that you can do what needs to be done. And so they found world peace, world balance, and balanced out the matrix itself. You see what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 I advocate destroying the matrix, but you see what I'm saying, you know, but we understand what they're doing here. You see what I'm saying? So they bal that world peace or world balance. You see what I'm saying? World stability. You know, it was Jedi energy. So Jedi always about balance. You see what I'm saying? So, so, so that, that, there you go. That, that's what you're seeing in this movie. Uh, it, it was a Jedi story for the most part. It, it, it was, she was a Jedi. She was a Jedi goddess. That, that's all it was. Who realized who she was. And then she, she she put her friends on. They realized who they were. And then they went to the rival gang ladies, told them what it, told them the gang, and they realized who they was. And then it, 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 their, their force, their energy, their force it, it erupted out into the world. And then everybody else around the planet started waking up and realizing who they was, the Great Awakening. And this led to world peace or world balance. You see what I'm saying? Which is... Uh, we're all striving to do this. But remember, this is all happening inside of you for the most part. And by it happening inside of you, as within, so without. It projects and reflects itself. Uh, it reflects what's going on inside of you, outside of you. So when you find balance in you, when you when 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 when, when, when you become the Jedi Master, uh Medi Master, then you're gonna see that reflected to you in the physical world, in your environment. You may see more construction. You may see more programs. You may see more businesses coming to the city. You may see roads being rebuilt. You may see new houses coming up. You may see just new fresh people coming to your city. You see what I'm saying? That's how that energy works. That force works. That's you healing the environment when you when you when you on your path. When you when you when you are in your power and on your path. You see what I'm saying? So that's what this is about. That's what Chirac was about. So yeah, yeah, Chirac. Was in Chicago in this movie. Chicago was just the uh, environment, the training ground that these Jedi masters were using to uh, that, that that these uh, Jedi masters who didn't know they were Jedi masters were using to come into themselves and come into their power, so that they could, so that they could create change, change and transformation first in themselves and then in the world. You see what I'm saying? So there y'all go, there y'all go, there you go. That Chirac. And black and blue decoded for you. So, any questions? Any questions? Any questions?
any questions before I get up out of here. Diana, thank you. Uh, no problem. This is, what we, this is what we do. This is what we do. That's what we do. Well, if y'all don't have no questions, I'm Marvin Jones. Y'all put the word out. Share this with your friends. Check out my uh, other occult lectures on my YouTube channel, The Melanite Order. And I'm out. Peace.